There we go. There we go, that's a perch. Or is it a pike? That's felt like a perch strike then. Oh, and there's number two in the net. Three o'clock, one hour to fish until it's dark, basically. See if we can actually catch something. The only reason I've actually come out today is because I've got some new rods that I wanted to try out. New rod by the rods. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to mainly throw in. But I've got my heavy rod as well with me. And we'll see if we can actually catch. I'm not, I've hardly got any lures with me to be fair. So I won't be changing lures much, or at all really. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can pull out some pike in one hour. Like the weather, it was, it's been really cold lately and it's suddenly got warm. So I feel like they should be feeding, but you never know. You never know. But so with the spinner bait, multi vibe plus extra vibe, and then a fire tiger, Kofi perch as a trailer. Nice and bright, seems we've got really, really cold water. Vibration, bright lure, and uh, yeah, noisy. So, should draw some fish out. We shall see though. I've got my heavy rod as well with the. 26 centimeter roach, which I do like at this time of year as well. We'll see what catches in this hour. I've seen some fish moving a little further up, so we'll probably move up to where I've seen those. Get some casts on them. Jeez. I don't even know what you want to do. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's off. Or oh, is it? Yeah, it's off. I didn't set my drag. You see that drag slip then? No way. I let it drop a little bit then and straight away. That was what, third cast, something like that? Nailed that. Damn, loose drag. That sucks. At least, at least I know they'll hit this then. Make sure that's rocked tight. Jesus. Solid strike as well. That's a good start. Just let it drop a bit deeper than I have been doing. And straight away. It's like third, fourth cast maybe. Whew, good sign on the spinner bait. Active fish. I remember where that bad boy is and uh yeah, drop back on it a little bit later. Hope it'll come back. Damn, that sucks, I missed you. It was hooked. Like, it was on for a little bit, but like I said, bad hooks there. They can shake the hooks so easy. But, nice to at least get a hit. Gets you feeling like there might be a few feeding fish. Come on, let's get another one now. It is three minutes past. It is seven minutes past, so four minutes for that first one. For the first bite, anyway. There we go, that's a perch. Or is it a pike? That's felt like a perch strike then. That's a pike, damn. Okay, I just... <laughs> I brought a perch rod with me as well. Um, sometimes you can find nice perch. And uh, that's a pike, but it's uh, literally a target species, so I will take that. Just need to get him in the net now. Again, new rod father rod, which I just brought to test. This is the uh, 7 to 21 gram spinning. Reasonably heavy for a perch rod, so we should get him in pretty easy, I think. Coming up there anyway. Come on, baby. There we go, first fish in the net. <laughs> Played a bite on the spinner bait and now I've got a little guy. 13 minutes past, so 10 minutes for that fish. Now that little guy ain't the prettiest pike. And nailed that creature bait. Pop that out of him. Ooh, first blood. Tell this guy's been wrapped in wire as well, which is a bit unfortunate. 
but yeah, nice fish always checking for trebles at this time of year as well so you never know but yeah first one little guy on the perch rod let's get it back see you boo <sighs> okay one bite on the creature and then a little guy on the perch there honestly thought that was gonna be a uh, perch then with the way it hit it was like textbook little perch hit that it's quite interesting as well that the only rod we've not had a bite on is the big the big lure and you know low you know big slow lures is what a lot of people recommend at this time of year but you've still got to play it by conditions and the water you're fishing and everything it's not always going to be the same sometimes small lures are going to work sometimes big ones sometimes you know aggressive noisy baits and stuff like that you just uh, there's no set method that's going to work at, in winter time so if you're fishing big and slow and nothing's happening just mix it up and you never know you might get lucky okay um 50 minutes in now and i did expect to have another fish by now <laughs> so yeah last sort of 15 minutes to catch one a good start a bite and a fish in the first 10 minutes and then yeah super slow after that kind of weird but head back up to where i miss that fish see if i can get it to come back and try some little new areas like what we call it a pike There's one. That's a better fish. Pike, not a perch. Just as I'm moaning about not catching any. Maybe not better actually. It's a nice hit though. Uh, yeah, it could be a better fish this. Sitting deep. Yeah, it's definitely better than that first one anyway. I don't think it's going to be a monster, but... Oh, it's fat, mate. That's a fat bike. Oh, and there's number two in the net. On the perch rod again. <laughs> it's not what we planned, but I'll take it. Alright, guys, exactly four o'clock, so we've got three minutes. So it's been an hour and just got the second fish now on the perch rod again, which is a bit weird, but I'll take that. Ah, that is a very, very fat pike. Finished the power hour off. Probably gonna keep fishing for a bit more. Okay, let's slip this dude back. Nice fat pike, that. Let's see, buddy. <laughs> Neaty. Oh, right, guys, second pike in an hour. Very happy to get that one then. Took some effort, but yeah, we got it. On the perch rod as well, 7 to 21 gram. The uh, finesse fillet craw, as usual, which is totally weird. Like we had the one bite on the spinner bait, but all the rest of the bite has been on the perch gear, which is wild. But yeah, that's one hour up anyway. Gonna keep fishing for a bit longer, just see if we can get another fish. Seems we have actually got a bit of daylight, even though it is, you know, shortest day of the year tomorrow, actually. Thought it'd be dark, but it's not. So we've got a little bit more to fish. So one hour, two fish, see what else we can get. There's a fish. Oh no. Oh. Damn it, man. That was a good strike, that, in the dark. Man. First hit on the big bait today, after it's got dark. <sighs> One pull of the hooks, but didn't stick. That's freaking annoying. Solid, solid bite that one then as well. 
Oh, man, that's frustrating. I've got, I've got the light on the rod tip, hopefully you guys can see it, but really good bite. And again, he's took it again, and he's, he's on this time. Do not come off, bud. <laughs> I can't believe that came back then, <laughs> in the dark. Oh, it's not a bad one. It's not a massive fish, but hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Bright there a bit. That was unexpected then. Oh, it's got some goddamn power. In the dark, on the roach. Bite on every bait today. <laughs> Come on. And he's in there, let's go. I can't believe that came back then. Stoked. Night pike. Ain't a massive fish, but put up a real good fight then. Might work over some, I was gonna leave in a second, but now I know that that'll hit in the dark and might actually be coming onto the feed a bit. So might stay, see if we can get some more fish. Stoked though, nice one. Probably best one today, I'd say. It's not a massive fish, but decent for a quick evening session. Yeah, six, seven pound, something like that. Cool, getting back. Let's double check there's no trebles down him. Looks good. Okay, see you, bud. <laughs> Stoked. Well guys, back in the car now, two perch, not perch, we're not been perch fishing, well kind of, uh, <laughs> two pike in the first hour, in the actual power hour, two pike, two bites that I missed, and they were on the perch rod, um, this is pretty interesting, you know, you expect them on the big stuff at this time of year, and they were just taking the perch loads, so it's kind of eye opening, you know, you've always got to be open to change up. What you're expecting, you know, the pike aren't always going to be feeding how you expect. So, yeah, pretty cool. Two perch, not perch again, pike, two pike <laughs> in the first hour, put on the perch rod, and then one pike after dark, and then add one other bite as well, which is pretty cool, catching them after dark. Um, obviously, they don't always feed in the dark, and it's only just come dark, so they might have just had a little feeding spell, you know, they're not going to feed all night and such like that. But it is nice to catch them after dark, and I'm planning on doing a bit more night fishing this year. So uh, yeah, that was nice. A couple of couple of fish, three fish in. Well, I've been at two hours now, including my hour after dark. So three fish in two hours, two in an hour in the daylight, one in an hour in the dark. So uh, yeah, not too bad. Nice uh, testing my new rods out as well. So good to christen one of those. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like I rambled a little bit in this outro getting bunged up because i'm sick <coughs> so i'm gonna get back so <laughs> yeah what i've been using is gonna be linked to the description hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time